everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video I'm very very excited because I'm gonna be reviewing and testing out Olivia Palermo's beauty line that she just launched I'm pretty sure she launched it like she launched it May 6th so it is a relatively new beauty brand if you do not know who Olivia Palermo is she is basically a beautiful model, fashion icon, influencer, entrepreneur. And she did just recently launch her beauty line. I'll put up the Instagram over here. It's really beautiful, really just like luxe looking. And it says that it's a curated beauty wardrobe for everyone. But I'm really excited to see the products. So I just kind of want to get straight into opening it. It's funny, I have been told by numerous people that I look a lot like her. That's a major compliment. So first off, the packaging is beautiful. Love that deep green. And she has a little, she has a little card in here with gold detailing. <gasps> that is so beautiful. Wait, let me show you up close. Liking the packaging, I think it's so beautiful. I have to just get an Instagram photo because this is really pretty. I only got two products from her line. I got a lipstick and then I got an eyeshadow. She's keeping these things protected. We're still going. Okay. Woo! I have to say that was a little bit excessive with the amount of bubble wrap. I've kind of moved you guys a bit because there was a little bit of light coming through in that mirror and it was kind of making the kind of making the picture look a little bit different. Wow, these are heavy. Well, this is heavy. Holy moly. I know I said I wanted to get into just seeing the product, but I have to talk about the packaging because this is gorgeous packaging. So it's a beautiful light sage green color. And I don't know if you could tell, but it had these like textured material on it or like textured pattern. Beautiful. This must weigh like two pounds oh my gosh this is so heavy so i got the au naturel eyeshadow palette i thought i thought that i had ordered soray soray but i guess i didn't after you take it out it comes in a little package again this is beautiful oh my gosh this is so pretty it has the little olivia palermo engraving or like her name is kind of on the thing it's not engraved what is that printed so it seems like her theme is golden green this is so stinking beautiful let's hope the product is as good as the packaging right wow that opens Ooh. peeling those mirror things off are always so fun beautiful beautiful okay so there is three matte shades and then three shimmer shades this one looks to be like very very shimmery while these ones look a little bit more, or like that one looks a bit more satin. Um, so three shimmer shades and three matte shades. And then let me just show you what this looks like. So I got her lipstick. Oh my gosh, like the inside is actually green. This is in the shade Rosebud. And okay, that's a gorgeous shade. It's a matte lipstick, but from some of the applications I saw online, it didn't look super like drying it looked nice on the lips i'm very very excited to give these a try i'm gonna do my face makeup quickly with you guys on here and then we're going to test the beauty products themselves i've zoomed you in a bit more so that you can see this palette and the shades up close a bit better and I don't really know what look I'm gonna do. I kind of want to do something that looks like something that Olivia would do. This shade here, they don't have names. Oh no, they do have names. This one is Seashell and it's a matte base. That's what it says. So I'm going to be taking this. Not a ton of fallout, which is nice. And I'm just gonna be applying this as a base shade. I realized there's no like good crease shade. That one is semi good. It's more of like a, that's more of like an outer V crease shade, but I'm gonna still just use this whole palette today. And I'm just going to apply this into my crease. Maybe this is just a, because it's a really dark shade, but I'm not finding it to be the most 
blendable shadow ever. With a smaller brush, I'm gonna take that same shade and run it under my lash line. The blue shade is really intriguing me, but it's definitely not a color I'd want to wear every day. So I'm gonna take this shade right here, extending it out a bit. It's really pretty, it's really subtle, and just focusing it on the outer corner. And then I think I'm just gonna take this with my finger, this shade down here. This one is Light Fawn. It's a really beautiful shade. Ooh, that's really, really beautiful. Not expecting it to be this sparkly, it's really pretty. I don't know if you guys can even see that. And then I'm gonna take the remainder and just pop that under my eyes. And I give that a nice little blend. I really wanna see if this can kind of be like a, a liner. No, that's a little too light. So that's definitely too light for a liner for this look. So what I'm gonna do with this, this gray shade here is putting that on the lower lash line. I'm just gonna be taking a little bit more of the chestnut mahogany, or what's this called? Cherry mahogany, and just deepen up the outer V. Let me swatch a blue for you, I just realized I didn't swatch the blue. That's definitely pigmented. And since her palette doesn't have a shade that's dark enough for liner, I'm just gonna be taking a little coal liner. Okay, I just created a very, very slight wing and then took my eyeshadow brush and just dragged it out a little bit. I've just applied mascara, but I thought I would give you a close-up of the eye. I have to say, I really love this like super smoky eye look. Now it's on to the lipstick. I'm not gonna do any liner because I want you to see just the lipstick and it's full glory. It's very matte feeling. It's definitely matte feeling, but very comfortable on the lips. Really, really love this color. Mm-hmm. Really beautiful, I love it. I feel that the color in the tube is very similar to the color on my lips. This color is gonna look a bit different on everyone, just like every lipstick looks different on everyone because everyone has different, you know, lip colors. Even though it is a more matte lipstick, which I feel like it's not even crazy matte it's very comfortable and it's just a perfect nudie pinky color it's like the most gorgeous i feel bridal shade so this is the final makeup look and i really love it but i want to give you guys my overall thoughts on olivia palermo's beauty line um so obviously i've had time to use the products i don't know how they wear yet like the longevity of them but i will probably do an update over on instagram so if you're not following me on there, definitely follow me um, and I will save that to my beauty highlights. So my overall thoughts on these products is that I really, really do love them, especially the lipstick. I just think it's a gorgeous shade. It could be worn on so, so many different skin tones. I feel like can wear this lipstick and it would look beautiful. This packaging, again, is just so gorgeous. Like it's so heavy, I can't even open it. And luxe and beautiful. And I just love that texture design. I wouldn't say it's like the creamiest eyeshadow I've ever used. The colors are very pigmented when you first swatch them. Not a lot of fallout, which is great. Overall, I really, really do love these products and highly recommend them. Again, they're a bit pricey. If you want to splurge a little bit to treat yourself, I think these are definitely worth it. up today's video hope you guys enjoyed it hope you guys have a great rest of your day don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel bye guys